here. Tonight I'm flying from Helena, Montana to Missoula, Montana. I'm flying a Beechcraft 350i King Air. I'll be flying at a flight level of 12,000 feet. We have some mountains to climb over. Let's go ahead and go inside and get started. Adjust the barometer. Put the flaps up, we don't need those. And take off the parking brake and let's get started. to do a better job of keeping the plane going straight down the runway. It seems to be working. Really have to concentrate on it and make very tiny adjustments. Okay, let's go ahead and pull up. Hold at 10 degrees. Make sure we're getting a vertical climb rate. We are. Flaps up. I'm sorry, gear up. Tower KA483, continue for west departure. Okay, we seem to be climbing just fine. I will give it over to autopilot in a moment. It's a beautiful night here in Montana, middle of the summer. Well, I guess sort of more towards the end of the summer. Alright, going to go ahead and engage autopilot and yaw damper. Let's go ahead and go outside and look around a little bit. I think we'll be okay to get over these mountains. I might have to increase the climb rate or possibly the target altitude, we'll see. okay on this mountain climb. I'm going to increase the vertical climb rate just in case. Using the Logitech panel to do that. hard to see what's ahead of us. I think it's a combination of mountains and clouds. I still think we might be okay on our altitude. to look around and see what's around this area. Not a whole lot. Some street lights. Okay, I feel like we're okay 
over these mountains. I'll have to lose this altitude once it's safe to do so. Dropping an airspeed, I think maybe the, it's because the air is thin and we're also climbing at such a high rate. I think I can reduce our vertical climb rate. Maybe down to zero. We're still climbing towards 12,000. I think that's too high. I'm going to set that down to 9,000. Throttle back to halfway. It's still a little hard to tell how far off the ground we are. If I go back inside, we do have ground radar, but it's not showing up. We're too far up, I guess, for that. see much of what's ahead of us. I just think it's a cloud bank off in the distance. I don't think we're in danger of hitting anything. I think I'll switch to the drone and maybe scout ahead a bit. I don't know if they fixed the speed issue. Uh, it wasn't obeying the speed setting. Going to one tree, two decimal, four KA four eight three. I'm guessing it probably still isn't. Salt Lake Center, KA four eight three nine thousand one hundred feet. KA four eight three, Salt Lake Center, altimeter tree zero decimal zero four, continuous planned. Okay, so it looks like we're just looking at a lot of flat land here and some cloud banks in the distance. Let's switch. Actually, let's reset the drone view. And I'd like to set a new target of 7,500 feet. Instruments are a little on the Alaska right side. So, let's see, I think if I do this. Yep, that's better. Again, it's just a little nerve-wracking. I can't tell exactly what's between me and the airport because it's so dark.
I can always pull up if we get close to hitting something. see the area better from this view. Okay, I think I will set the altitude up back to 9,000. I feel a little claustrophobic here close to the ground. Throttle. Get a sense for the layout looking at the Garmin, but I can't tell how that relates to where the airport actually is. The airport's at 4,000 feet. So that tells me something. Okay, I'm gonna pull the throttle back. Drain off a little bit of speed. Again, see if we can get a sense. Kind of looks like one more mountain range and then a fog bank or maybe a flatland or something. We'll see.
you want me to zoom in again. See more mountain ranges. I still feel good about this altitude, but I feel I'm going to have to drop quickly. So I'm going to drop the throttle a little bit and slow down so that we've got some margin for dropping that altitude without getting too much speed. So I'll pull it back to 40%. Let's reset the view, go back inside, see what the Garmin says. I can't really tell what this particular vertical line means except I think, well, I'm not really sure, but I've always assumed that's the horizon line and I see these mountains, so, but I think we'll be okay. I'm not sure why I think that. Use the keyboard trick to get rid of that menu indicator at the top of the screen. Let's take a look outside again. Can I tell if I'm okay? I think I am, but it's just really hard to tell. I think the plane is above those little mountaintops, so I think we're probably okay. It's a really interesting view. Handed off. One one nine or decimal seven five four K A four eight three. Salt Lake Center K A four eight three twelve thousand feet. K A four eight three Salt Lake Center altimeter three zero decimal zero five continue as planned. K A four eight three contact Salt Lake Center on one three three decimal four. Good day. One three three decimal four for K A four eight three. Little barometer adjustment. There. Salt Lake Center K A four eight three eleven thousand nine hundred. Okay, so where are we in relation to the mountains? It might be a little tight. I still think we're going to be okay. And I also still feel compelled to slow down a bit more so we can speed up diving that altitude off. Almost time to contact the airport and get the landing pattern set up for us. Might as well go ahead and do that now. Missoula Tower KA 483 is 27 miles east, 12,000 feet with kilo to land. KA 483, Missoula Tower. Altimeter 3, 0.05 wind 3, 0.1 at 3. 
There's a little bit of a gap in the mountains, so that will benefit us. Let's just go take a peek outside again. Yeah, I think I can drop the nose a little bit here. see the ground radar yet, and so that tells me that I might be not as close to the ground as I think. Maybe I can go ahead and nose down a bit here. If it was daytime, it'd be a little easier to fly through the mountains. I'm just going off of what I'm seeing on the Garmin at the moment. I don't have any idea how close I am to the ground. see those mountain peaks. Can't really tell exactly where they are. Looks like we're kind of flying towards one right now. I'm going to drop throttle even more just to encourage slow speed. Another peek outside. Yeah, maybe I'm maybe I'm over them. Just very difficult to tell. 
looks like we're kind of going over one of the larger ones right now. Haven't heard the 500 and 500 foot of nuts yet, so that's, that's a good sign. I'm gonna put down the approach flaps so that we can slow ourselves down quite a bit and try to head for this pattern entry. I think I'm past my problem with the mountain peaks. Now I've got a problem of being too high off the ground. But we should be able to fix that. So I'm going to go landing here. Down, almost all the way down on the throttle. It always says landing here when you go to zero. Let's go ahead and turn in. pattern itself even goes over some mountain peaks here. Um, looks like we've got time to slow down though. Yeah, we're definitely going too fast. I'm going to nose up, get to the top of the brackets to give myself some safety margin over that little foothill there. Gear down. That will help slow us down. Go to zero throttle. Let's see if we can drop this speed before we have to land. If I have to, I can put down the landing flaps. Or maybe not, though. I think I better put down the landing flaps. Bring the throttle up to halfway until I know how much I need. Push hard on the stick to keep us from raising up too much. Okay, so we don't need 50% throttle. Let's go to, I don't know, 25, 30%. Looking for 117 knots here. side so I can keep the runway centered in my eye vision. Getting a little bit off course here. Zero throttle. Sort of losing control authority as we slow down here. A little bit more throttle. And feather the throttle up a little bit more again. Okay, and here we 
we are on the runway. It would be nice to be straight on it. I'm going to flare up, try to get those wheels set down lightly. Uh, it's a little rough. Brakes on. Flaps up. Kind of a little bit of a sloppy landing, but I think we're okay. Uh, let's see, I need to pull over somewhere. lights here and turn. Or maybe not. Not sure where I'm supposed to go. Go ahead and exit here because I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I want to get off the runway. Let's go ahead and hit the brakes and park and brake. Let's contact ground. To parking. Missoula ground, KA483 taxi to parking. KA483 taxi to general aviation parking via taxiway Alpha Cross runway 12 Alpha Bravo Delta. Taxiing to general aviation parking via taxiway Alpha Cross runway 12 Alpha Bravo Delta KA483. Okay, so it looks like we want to turn and go to our left. Get a little bit of speed, and then I'll use some differential braking to do make a sharp left turn. It's really difficult to see. Um, there's probably some lights I'm supposed to turn on, like taxi lights, landing lights. That might help. Yep, that definitely helps. Okay, it looks like there was a turn here that I missed. Didn't notice it. the landing had been a little bit more straight. I felt like there were little puffs of wind hitting me as I was trying to land and it made things very hard. lights, I don't need landing lights. Never been to Missoula, Montana, but the area looks nice, especially at night.
Cheers. We still have a ways to go here. Okay. <clears throat> I see where we're going. There's a truck in the way. For some reason. I'm gonna just pull right in. controller went to sleep, so I'm using my mouse, but there's a nice shot with the moon. Shut off the plane. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.